So, uh, welcome, welcome to another, another installation, installation of my crappy Minecraft, Minecraft videos. And, uh, yeah, should, should be a lot of fun. Hang on, I have to do something. I forgot. This is extremely aggravating. I can't hear this. can't hear myself. I feel much better. So, I am Xeno, the creator, but not current maintainer, of the equivalent exchange mod. And, uh, all the types. Oh, that's all. Um, and, uh, yeah. I have decided I am going to goof off. Hmm. For an indefinite period of time. And, um, some Minecraft. Right now, my buddy Pahimar, Pahimar, that's not really what I call him, but you you don't know his name, so um, I call him something else. Can't tell you, it's a secret. Anyway, uh, I've got him doing maintenance for me. Oh, I started out on a volcano. That's cool. But yeah, I've got him doing my maintenance, and he is taking care of everything. He's doing the updates and all that good stuff. So, I am basically on a sort of extended hiatus. What kind of tree is this? There's no wood. How is that even possible? I don't even care. I lost interest. That is so weird. It must have something to do with the volcano. Anyway. These woodless trees. this. Like right now. <laughs> so yeah, I'm getting away from all this. But uh, yeah, so I decided to take a break. And uh, this isn't really what I've been doing, playing Minecraft. I haven't played Minecraft in a while, actually. But uh, I've got Red Power 2, obviously, and uh, Equivalent Exchange, and that's the most recent one, the one my buddy is maintaining, and um, that's basically it. You know, I got a mini-map, because um, I'm helpless without a mini-map, and uh, that's pretty much all. Kind of pretty low maintenance. I didn't, uh, I didn't even put industrial craft on this time. Admittedly, um, I don't actually like my own mod as much as I used to. Um, I just think it was it was overpowered, and now I know it's overpowered because I tried playing with it, and I don't know, I just couldn't do it anymore. You know? I felt like I'd broken Minecraft, basically. So this is a pretty cool spot for a house, actually. Huh. What a weird place I found.
also like that I'm like right next to some kind of snow, volcano, beach, ocean biome. It's kind of like Icelanders. No way. Iceland is. No, Iceland is still pretty freaking cold, but it's mostly green, isn't it? It's got all kinds of hot springs and stuff. So yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Anyway. Equivalent exchange. Um, so shortly after I cranked up the version number to two, I just kind of got burned out. It's not that I don't enjoy working on it. It's, it's not because people frustrate me. It's just because I, I felt like uh, I really just felt like uh, I couldn't work on something that I couldn't enjoy myself. And I'd, I'd kind of reached the point where you know I knew it was overpowered. And it, it ruined the experience of the game. I'm playing with it. some people, I mean, I know you, you get there and, you know, you can pretty much do whatever you want, but then what, you know, uh, you make all the best tools and stuff that Equivalent Exchange has to offer, and then it just kind of, you know, it makes a lot of the other mods tools and really cool stuff, like, like the mining laser and industrial craft, it makes them completely pointless because, you know, you never have to use them and you're way more efficient, and, you know, that was my intention. It wasn't the goal to, uh, to keep one of stuff because I enjoyed the idea of some tier higher than diamond and uh, what it turned into was these just ridiculously overpowered things that when everything was said and done I, I just felt like I'd gone too far almost. And I know that people enjoy it and I, I'm not, I'm not bad mouthing your, your style and you know I'm happy that you guys enjoyed the mod. I, I just, uh, for me personally I never really, um, I wouldn't call it slow, when I, the original collectors weren't called collectors, they were called aggregators, and they just kind of sat there making glowstone for you, um, and then I came out with a different kind of aggregator that made obsidian, and those two things alone were kind of, um, you know, they were, they were ways of producing matter, um, but they were strictly limited to what they made, and at some point I decided that I was going to connect the matter and the fuel trees, which may have been my first mistake, but, um, you know, I can't really tell you if any of my attempts at, at balancing these things were wise, or, uh, because none of them seemed to work for me, really. Um, it all ended up being mostly about 
trying to slow your roll or extend the end game, and uh, none of those things seem to work, to be honest. This is going to fall. Um, so, I mean, I was, I was pretty confused about the best way to do everything, and, and I, I tried my best to slow things down or, or, you know, give you the option of slowing things down, because I know that some people want more of a challenge than just waltzing into the game and being able to do whatever they please, so. I don't think I succeeded. I honestly feel like, um, if you're of a certain mindset that you're not going for everything as fast as humanly possible, you will still, um, eventually find yourself with everything. And, um, what I found towards the end was that, um, I had lost the motivation to actually make some of the higher tier gear because I felt like I'd reached the point where I didn't even need it, so I just kind of ignored it. It's not like I actually fucking do anything. I kind of expected the ocean to come in here and fill all this up. I forgot that the water physics aren't really all that spectacular. My buddy Overmind was working on something that would fix this sort of thing. Doing. I was interested in that. Anyway. So yeah, I got a waterfall, I guess. By accident. Water is nice to have around because it kind of limits the amount of crap that is going to spawn around me, which is sort of good. There's iron. Um, yeah, so it's already getting dark. Uh, that's cool. The main reason why I chose this is my spawning point. safe. So anyway, <sighs> that's the main story behind me quitting. I didn't really quit. Um, I'm actually working on something else. Um, a few people got a chance to, well it wasn't really like an amazing, spectacular find if they did see it, but uh, there was a design document floating around the IRC when I was working on it really heavy. Um, I was calling it Old World Alchemy. What I was going for was kind of like an old school classic uh, approach to what I felt like alchemy could have been if I had done it differently. You know, not like, um, like to be honest with you, I didn't even really consider equivalent exchange alchemy. Um, it was just a, a way of saying it that, that made sense to people. It was a system of exchanging crap, and it always has had that kind of like, like uh, clap hands make diamonds, people used to say. People still say that. Um, and, and yeah, they're, they're mostly right. More or less, how the systems were made. You know, there was there was no regard for any kind of um, magical power. The only reason why the philosopher's stone was even in place was um, to force you to make something. Uh, but I'm gonna go ahead and pause it here. Uh, gotta let my video split. And